In this video I will show you a couple of my homebrew magic items I've created for my campaign. I try to have some cool original ideas and in my opinion they are fairly well balanced. It also depends on which level your players are, but you can use them and rebalance them however you like. So without further ado, let's get into them. The first one is called Ancora. It's a rare great axe that requires attunement. You gain a plus one bonus to attack and damage rolls made with this magical weapon. Additionally, when you make an attack roll, you can choose to extend the anchor on the hilt with a chain traveling across the creature. When you use this ability, the attack gains 30 feet range and pulls the creature towards you if it hits. You can use this ability once per short rest. Large creatures must succeed on a strength saving throw of 15 or else they will be pulled towards you as well. It automatically succeeds on creatures that are smaller than large and automatically fails on creatures bigger than large. And then I always explain how the magical weapon looks like and how it works in combat and I always have a flavor text beneath that. Basically because it just looks cool. For example, let me read it. This weapon has been wielded by a great warrior of the sea. Now resting on this island, it needs a new owner to go on a great adventure once more. A friend of mine uh, used to make this stuff and I found it really cool so I kind of stole the idea and now put it in every magic item I create. Let's get to the next one. The next one is called Staff of Madness and as a DM this is basically my favorite one because it's it creates so much chaos. You gain a plus two bonus to attack and damage rolls made with this magic water stuff. While holding it you gain a plus two bonus to spell attack rolls. Additionally, you can use your action to use a meddling ability from this staff. Roll a d100 and the DM tells you the outcome. The staff has a dark and mysterious look to it. The top half of the staff has two devil wings sprouting off of its core with chains hanging downwards. The core and the wings will lit up in flames if the wheel uses spell attacks or one of its meddling abilities while holding it. The outcomes of the effects are unknown, but maddening. At the discovering effect, the wheel will know what its effects does while he remains attuned. So in D&D Beyond, where we uh, share our magic items, every outcome has a question mark because the player doesn't know what effects are until they discover it. And here you can see all the effects. Next one. Norgeox. You gain a plus 2 bonus to attack and damage rolls made with the magical axe. The axe deals 1d6 extra cold damage to creatures that aren't constructs. Additionally, this axe has 3 charges and it gains 1d3 expanded charges daily at dawn. So just use a d4 and if you get a 4 reroll it. You can use an action to expand a charge to cut a tree instantly. After doing so, you can decide where the tree falls. Any creature within that space must make a DC 15 deck saving throw or else take 3d6 extra bludgeoning damage. This hand axe is made of a special type of wood with the middle of the hilt got a rope tied around it. The axe itself displays a Nordic kind of markings and feels cold. While charging the weapon at dawn you have to concentrate on the axe making the runes glow slightly blue and feel even colder. This faints after spending all charges. This weapon belongs to a group of strong battle-hardened warriors. If you wield this axe, you are most likely seen as one, as you probably deserve it. So the concept is to basically chop wood very easily outside of combat for camping and survival and stuff, but also um, outside it, like a, a battlefield with cover, with trees, you can use them to deal damage to your enemies. Next one. These elven boots make you able to walk silently, very silently. As an action, you can cast the invisibility spell on yourself and gain advantage on your stealth rolls. Anything you wear or carry is invisible as well and you need to concentrate on the effect. The effect ends after one hour or if you attack or cast a spell. You can only use this ability once per long rest. The boots are made of light golden leather forged by elves. It's almost weightless and you make less noise while walking. It is said it's specially crafted for elven assassins so they can surprise their enemies. I made this uh, item for uh, assassin rogue so they can use their assassinate ability more. And that's it. <laughs> and the flavor text is Paradine Nungunner is probably something with stealth or silent in elvish. 
I don't remember anymore. And then the last one is Tracking Crossbow. You gain a plus one bonus to attack and damage rolls made with this magic weapon. Additionally, when you miss an attack with this weapon, you can use his magical properties to redirect a shot, which gives you another attack on the same target. When you choose to use this ability, the target is mystically marked as your query, dealing an extra d6 damage to the target whenever you hit it, and have advantage on any perception or survival check you make to find it until the end of your next turn. You can use this ability once per short rest. The crossbow is red and has a black middle part in which you put the bolts. When you sheet this weapon, the wings of the crossbow shut inside, making it easier to carry this weapon with you. Basically to sneak inside a weapon if you have to. You can also extend or shorten the hilt, switching between a hand crossbow and a light crossbow when needed. This weapon has been wielded by someone royal, but it seemed that person had no use for it anymore. A villain of royal blood wielded this in my campaign, so that's why the flavor text is there. So those were the magical items specifically for this video. I have a couple more, so if you want to see those, let me know, because then I can make another video. Some examples are a staff that can shoot meteors. A blade that you can coat in darkness and also cast a darkness spell from it. A dwarfish belt called Uvarskold, which has thunder properties. As well as another few cool concepts. I hope you saw a few magic items that you liked and hopefully even better that you can put inside your own campaign. And if you like this video please like it and comment down your favorite magic item below. And subscribe if you want to see more D&D content. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!